Also guys, welcome to another YouTube video. If you're new here, my name's Danny, and today in this video, we're gonna be talking about macro extension tubes. I recently picked up these Mica macro extension tubes, which is specifically made for Sony's full frame E-mount cameras. But if you're a Canon and Nikon user, don't click off the video, you can still get Mica macro extension tubes for your cameras. Just make sure that before you do the order, you check that it's got the correct bayonet for your camera. And in this video, we're gonna be going over four things. Firstly, what are macro extension tubes? The build quality of these specific macro extension tubes, the image quality that they provide, and are they as good as a dedicated macro lens? So they are simply rings which go between the camera body and your lens, which give you an extension between the sensor and the first element of your lens. They mostly come in a set of two, and this set comes with a 10 millimeter and 16 millimeter ring. And if you want to magnify or focus a lot closer to the lens, you can join the two together to make it 26 millimeters. Each ring magnifies your image by a certain amount, which is determined by a number of factors, which I'll be honest, I don't quite understand. But for the most part, the greater the distance between your sensor and your first element of your lens, the more you can magnify or focus a lot closer to the front element of your lens. Therefore, in theory, turning any lens that you have into a macro lens. And the great thing about these is that they have zero optics, so it makes them relatively inexpensive, especially in comparison to macro lenses. So these Mica macro extension tubes come in two different versions. You've got version B, which is entirely plastic, including the bayonet, which goes to the camera or to the lens. Or you can get this version, which is version A, where you have a metal bayonet to connect to the lens or the camera. The build quality with the metal bayonet is much better than the plastic ones. I had some newer ones years ago and they were all plastic and they literally just fell apart. There are reviews on the internet that say the macro extension tubes can damage your camera or lens because it has the little pins which allow you to use autofocus. But for me so far, I haven't had any issues. I would just say like every other piece of equipment, just do your research, make sure you get a good quality one which you are happy with. But just like with every piece of equipment, just maintain it, check the screws in it, make sure that everything's tight, everything's clean and working as it should do. The price difference between the two versions is just five pounds so my recommendation would be just spend an extra five pounds. But if I'm honest, I wouldn't hang a long, heavy, expensive telephoto lens off the end of a macro extension tube and then onto your camera because if I'm honest, I think you're just asking for trouble. So when it came to image quality, I was actually blown away. I was pleasantly surprised by how good it was. There's a lot of talk on the internet that say macro extension tubes aren't as sharp as a dedicated macro lens, and I don't doubt that for a moment. But when looking back at the photos which I've taken, they are still incredibly sharp and are a lot sharper than what I previously expected. One thing to note about macro extension tubes is you will lose a little bit of light when using them. When you're using a 10 millimeter extension tube, you lose a third stop of light. If you're using 16 millimeter, then you lose two thirds stop a light and together obviously a full stop. Because of that you will have to increase your ISO therefore adding noise to your image or drag the shutter a little bit therefore possibly adding motion blur depending on how much light you originally have available. And because you're focusing even closer to the front of the lens than normal then your depth of field gets incredibly shallow a lot shallower than just a standard f1.8 lens. This means that if you're wanting to get the whole subject in focus in just a single shot rather than focus stacking then you will have to shoot at a smaller aperture such as f11 like I did in some of these photos. Once again, you're decreasing the amount of light which is able to hit the sensor, so you have to drag that shutter a little bit or increase the ISO once again. Obviously, you can use focus stacking if you wish, but make sure you use a tripod to do that to make sure that the subject or the camera doesn't move between each single photo. So because of the decrease in light, some of these photos I had to shoot at around about 8,000 or 10,000 ISO. And obviously at that kind of ISO, you do increase the amount of noise in your image. But with a little bit of post-processing, I got rid of all the noise in my image and the image looks absolutely perfect. And when using these macro extension tubes, I actually never found myself using both macro extension tubes together. I actually used the 10 millimeter on a 50 millimeter lens and the 16 on an 85 millimeter lens and with that combination I was really happy with how the photos turned out. So the short answer is obviously no. A macro lens can be used for all different kinds of photography, not just macro photography. And that's because it can focus incredibly close to the front element, but you can also focus at infinity, which is over in the distance really far away. So you could use it for something like portraits. The thing is when you use macro extension tubes, infinity isn't actually truly infinity because infinity could just be a few inches away from the front element. So if you're taking a macro shot and then you need to take a photo of something in the distance, such as a portrait, then you would physically have to take off the lens, 
then the macro ring, and then put the lens back on just to take that one photo. If I'm being honest, I can't compare a macro shot from a dedicated macro lens to a macro shot from these extension tubes because I don't have a macro lens available at this moment in time. But if you want to see that video, let me know down in the comments below and I will actually go out and get a macro lens just to do this video. But overall, these only cost £35 for this version of the macro extension tube. I think they're a great inexpensive addition to my camera bag, especially in comparison to the £600 plus what I could pay for a dedicated macro lens. Now, if you want to see more videos about product photography, I recommend you check out this video right here. But if you want to see how I got rid of all the noise in these photos with just a few clicks, check out this video up here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you are already, and I will see you in the next one. Laters.